So we will try to understand the parametric DC sweep simulation using AutoCAD piece price. We will start with this example where we have a DC voltage source of 10 volt. A resistor R1 of 5 ohms is connected with another in series with another resistor R2. And let's say we do not know the value of the R2 resistor. We want to maximize the power transfer in R2. What value of R2 maximizes this, this power transfer? Uh, from the power transfer theorem, we know that the power in R2 is maximum when value of R2 is equal to R1 or which is 5 ohm. But let's pretend that we do not know this theorem. We do not know what is the value of R2 that will maximize the power in R2. It may be 1 ohm, it may be 2 ohm, it may be 10 ohm, it may be 15 ohm. We don't know. So what we need to do is we need to vary this value of R2 and find out the power consumed in R2 for each value of R2. So how do we do that? To do this, we assign the R2 a value, a variable. Let's call this vari variable ohm and enclose it in a curly bracket. The curly bracket shows that the, um, the, the, this, this is a variable. Its value is going to be uh, going to vary. It's a parameter, and that parameter to define this parameter, you need to go to a library called special. In this library, there is a special part called a parameter. So double click this and bring it just next to R2. And now double click this parameters and add a add a new column and call its name ohm which is the same same as the value of uh, uh, the the parameter of r2 and assign it some initial value doesn't matter what and this is called one so this ohm is a variable and we have defined it this ohm as a parameter its value is its value is uh, one. <clears throat> Once again, if you want, you can also possibly display its name as well as value so that we know what it is. Okay. Uh, so our, our default color change got changed in this process. So we are going to change it back to what it was default. Okay. So this being done we are all set to start this simulation for parametric dc sweep we need to click on p spice new simulation profile and call it dc uh, max uh, power or whatever you want and then we 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 are going to uh, Options, data collections, probe window, general. So basically, it's going to be a DC sweep, and in the DC sweep, we need to define the global parameter name. And in this case, ours is the name of the parameter is ohm. We need to define a start value and an end value. We define a small value, 0.01. We don't, cannot define zero value because that will mean that the uh, value of the power is going to be something like infinity we don't want to deal with that and the max value even though we could put something like 10 meg or something but that doesn't um, seem realistic let's keep it a 20 ohm uh, given that we do know that it's 5 ohm so i'm just putting it at 20 so it will val vary its value from 0 to uh, 0 0.01 to 20 and we are putting an increment of 1 ohm we apply this and then we are all set to start the simulation to start the simulation click on the simulation button it pops up a window and that window that window we can right click add a trace and we want to find out the voltage or uh, the wattage 
in W2. Now you see this curve as the as the as you increase the value of this register, the power dissipated increases and reaches its maximum value somewhere near five. And then if you further increase its value of the resistor, it goes on going down. You can find the actual max value uh, using a simple trick. Basically, what you do is click on this cursor. If this menu or this menu is not available, view, uh, you cannot view this. Just click on view and toolbar and make sure that simulate and prove and cursors are, are clicked. Otherwise, you won't see this. Now click on the cursor and if you see this is a cursor peak if you click on that it should um, show you the the value of the uh, cursor peak uh, somewhere let's say somewhere right here this is the cursor that says 4.9994 it's pretty close to where we were so that is the that is how you do a parametric DC sweep in RFP spice.